now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. And by Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We are out at Rossford tonight where we had the Bulldogs game with Otsego live on our WTOL YouTube page. We'll have more on that in a little bit, but first we start with our game of the week. Perrysburg 4-0, Bowling Green 4-0. Winner gets at least a share of the NLL title. Here we go, second straight big test for Perrysburg who beat Napoleon a week ago. As for BG, they are trying to prove that to everyone that they belong. Late in the first half, Bobcats on fourth down and three from midfield. Eli Brown going to the air throwing to the sideline for Ryan Jackson. He would slip a tackle. He's able to stay in bounds and he gets into the end zone for the score. BG's within four. But Perrysburg would answer right back. Christian Golgen airs it out to Aiden Pratt. He comes down with it. That would give the Jackets a little breathing room headed to the locker room up by 10. Into the second half, Perrysburg would turn it up. Golgen on the quarterback keeper follows his blockers to get down to around the five yard line. And then Connor Wallenzak would finish the job. Perrysburg remains unbeaten, 49-14 the final. And Christy Kopanis has more. This was Perrysburg's toughest task to date, and they didn't just answer the call. They made a statement, and after the game, Coach Kriegel pointed to their locker room and said, we're going to put a 2020 up there. Not if we win a league title, but when. When you win a league championship, you can come back 20 years from now, and that's still hanging there. And so that's something we've talked about all season and they've earned it i mean they they've they've ground this out we got one more league game playoffs and then who knows what happens after that but you know they've just got to keep getting better every week it's gonna mean everything i mean we just dreamed about this for so long our senior class i mean we worked our butts off and we waited for this moment forever i thought we played really hard um yeah we had to adjust to the speed in the beginning and then the one score, you know, we just didn't execute some things, but we played really hard. We got a veteran team and they play like it. Oh, there's so much more to accomplish. I mean, we got to keep coming out and working every single day, but we weren't even sure if we were going to have a season. So this just means a lot to us and we're so proud and so happy right now. And as the winds keep coming, the Jackets know they'll have a target on their back. They're not afraid of it. They're embracing it. Reporting from Perrysburg tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. Christy, thanks. Napoleon playing without their star running back, Jarrett Gerdeman, who is likely done for the year. Cats at home with Northview tonight. Napoleon near the goal line. Mikey Chips gets behind a few blocks, squeezes his way into the end zone to get the Wildcats on the board. And then from a few yards out, they would go to Chips again. He'd find his way into the end zone once again, and it would extend that Napoleon lead. And then the Wildcats stick it with that ground game. Chips fighting through some Northview defenders for a third touchdown. He steps up and carries the load for the Wildcats. Napoleon wins it 36. To 14. Maumee searching for their first win. Panthers on the home field with Anthony Wayne who made the short drive down the trail. Anthony Wayne's first possession was quick. Charles Brenninger hands it off, gets the handoff, finds a hole, weaving through traffic, takes it all the way down to the one yard line. Eventually he would cap off the, the drive by punching it in the very next play. Later, Garrett Pike going to the air, rolling to his left, throwing it up to Ty Roeder all alone in the end zone. Big night for the Generals. They win it 73 to nothing. And our last stop in the NLL, Springfield looking for win number one in the Jerry Bell era. Blue Devils in Sylvania taking on Southview Cougars. Flag Court entertaining the crowd. Third quarter, Southview's Logan Ho. Bursts up the middle, stumbles in for a tough, stumbles up for a 32 yard game, but the drive would stall. The Blue Devils would show up on special teams here. Antoine Ellison blocking the punt, and then Brandon Langston getting the carry. Makes a cut. He is gone. 55 yards for the touchdown. Springfield gets win one of the year, 31 to 23. And the only other stop in the track tonight, France is making that long drive to Lima. Knights working on offense. The flip here to Jaden Harris. Finds a nice hole up the middle, but eventually he would get tripped up. Then later in the drive, Knights threatening to score. David Kaiser eluding a few defenders, tossed it to the end zone for Joe Petro. He's in for the touchdown. St. Francis wins it 23 to six. 
All right, let's head north of the border. We're into Temperance, where Bedford trying to get you 2 0 to start the year home tonight with Ypsilanti. Mules working on that opening drive. Brady Henderson with a keeper. He finds a hole, runs out to the left. He would get down the sideline. He'd get pushed out eventually, but a couple plays later, they'd hand it off to Logan Hollebarger, and he would cap off the drive here with a touchdown run. And then on Bedford's next drive, Hollebarger strikes again. The handoff up the middle, stretches in for the touchdown. Bedford wins it 33 to 10. Another stop up in Michigan. Lindsay in the woods tonight taking on a Whiteford second quarter tie game, but the Bobcats would grab the lead here. The handoff to Cole Giesegui. He bounced off a few tacklers, breaks away. No one going to catch him. He would walk into the end zone for six. Then to the second half now. Shea Ruddy back to pass, sees nothing downfield. So he's going to take off with it out to the left. Just a few defenders out there. Jukes them. He finds his way in for a touchdown. Whiteford wins an absolute shootout, 44 to 42. All right, time for our first break of the night. But when we come back, we're heading out to Oak Harbor. The Rockets have a secret weapon, and his name is Nick Fish. We've got his awesome story when we return. I'm Charlie Stock, Price of Cheap Brand, Big Board Friday.